It's always a great idea to start any voice through activity with a real clean, crisp title slide. Let your students know what the title is, and if you can, include some kind of icon or graphic. This will also really help your students be able to find um, your voice threads and use them very effectively as you start to share multiple voice threads with them in your voice thread group throughout, a, throughout the term. Also, remember your students are nervous as we've discussed, so be sure to weave in your social presence. Hello there folks, welcome to our very first voice thread. But think about calming those nerves in other ways too. Include an overview slide and remind your students that this activity is really focused on them getting comfortable with using VoiceThread and learning how to comment in voice or video. Encourage them to relax. Include an instruction slide that makes it very clear to your students what you expect of them. Tell them to look at all the slides in the VoiceThread and get oriented to it before they participate. Make it clear to them exactly how many comments you expect them to leave and that you expect them to leave those comments in voice or video. And also, be sure it's clear to your students exactly which slides you expect them to comment on. Sometimes that can be confusing to students. I really like weaving in a, t a slide titled Tips for VoiceThread and I usually create a slide like this one and I just copy it into my voice threads throughout the first several weeks of a term. After the first several weeks students no longer need this slide anymore but it's a good one to have in there as students are getting oriented to VoiceThread the first few weeks. As with any learning activity, it's critical that your students understand how they are going to be graded. You don't necessarily have to have a formal grading rubric, but criteria is critical to communicate to your students so that they know what your expectations of them are. I also think it's a great idea to start fostering your communication norms and voice thread right off the bat. And this is something that you'll want to start thinking about. Norms are something that are subjective and you'll want to find some norms that really match your style. I like to think about each slide in a voice thread as a conversation. And so I communicate that to my students right off the bat so that they can start to think about each slide in a voice thread as being like a conversation. And then we start to foster that over and over in each voice thread activity throughout the class. What's also critical in an activity like this one is giving your students options. Remember, this is really about engagement. So, for example, in this activity, I gave my students plenty of different photographs to choose from so that they could click through the slides and pick one that really speaks to them. You're going to see title slides or titles at the bottom of each slide also. I've used the title feature in VoiceThread, and I've also created each title as a hyperlink. So as you'll see in just a moment, if a student were to click on any of those titles at the bottom of a slide, it would take them out to a website where they could learn more about the photograph.